Okay, today we're gonna change out a blower motor. It got to really squawking pretty bad. This is it right here. We're also gonna change out a agitator motor. And this is the one that, this is the one that stirs the pot here. And then I did take it apart and I did make it work a little better, but I got a new one, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it while I'm in there. So now I'm going to have to disconnect the disconnect the exhaust off the back of it and get this stove turned around so we can start working on it. Take the side panel off. So I'll do that now. Okay, this is probably the only stove you'll see that has uh, two switches over here on the side here. The American Harvest, let's see, 6039. I put these switches on. This is so you can. Uh, this is for the, for the feed button. This is for the, your auger that feeds the corn or pellets, and this is for your stirring pot. So it's really handy to be able to turn them off. Even my wife can get hot and turn the stove off just by just flipping that switch right there. She don't have to worry about whatever buttons you need to push. She just comes over here and switches that switch off. So them come in really handy. So now I'll take the side panel off. I thought I'd show you that to you real quick. Just get you a couple switches and I'll show you how it's wired here in a minute. Okay, make sure you got this thing unplugged before you start working in here. I've already got it unplugged. Okay, this thing is pretty nasty in here, so be nice to get it vacuumed out or get it to uh, blow it out. But I've tried vacuuming it out before and it didn't. Yeah, this is just a mess. Here's the two switches right here. These two switches right here. Just take your wire, this wire right here goes right into here. This purple wire goes right into here. Just get you a strand of wire, go over to your switch. Take this wire, go over to a switch, make another jumper to go over the motor. What you're doing is breaking, breaking the line here with a switch when you turn it on and turn it off. So that's all there's to it. Do the same thing with the other one. This is your auger motor, the one back here in the back. We'll get a shot of that real quick. That's your two switches, get you some. Drill some holes in it. Put those switches in there. Them things really come in handy. See this wire going back here? That goes to your auger motor back there. That's the wire you need to tap into for your top switch if you want to do this mod on here. But I put these switches in probably 10 years or more ago and they sure, it sure is nice to have them in there. Okay, now we're going to first start off with uh, this fan motor here. There are just four There's just four eight millimeter screws right here on the front here. Okay, four mil eight millimeter. Got four eight millimeter screws here. I'm gonna have to move this camera so I can get in there. Okay, now I still got two on the back side. The one's just a little harder to get to.
Okay, we got a loose. Now we'll disconnect the wires here. Okay, there's the fan motor. This thing was really squawking last night. Sound like metal against metal. But it still works, so we're going to save it for parts. So now we'll stick in the new one. Okay, now we'll hook our wires up. Get white to white. Get black to blue. Okay, then we're hooked up. Let's show you on this motor. See, it's just a four flange. Got two eight millimeter bolts on each. Four eight millimeter bolts here on the squirrel cage. Just be real careful not to bang around on your circuit board there. You don't want that to bang against the the stove itself. Okay, there's the new motor. Brand new fan motor. Now we're gonna start working on the, the stir motor. Be that little motor right there, brother. Okay, now I'll take it off. Take the wires off here. And white and red. It's held on by two screws. A little bar that goes across. Now you can just pull that off. I got a nail in it, so I gotta get that nail down. Okay, we got the pin out. I'm ready to pull the motor off. And that's the old one. Here's the new one. Just have to turn your auger or your stirrer there or to line up with your hole when you stick your pin back in. Now we'll tighten up the screws.
I figured it'd be a little looser than that, but that's not even screwed in good. Now we'll plug these back in. Two black wires, so it don't matter either one. Okay, we're gonna start fire. I got this little box here that I use to start the fires with. Get your little jug of some kind, a little scooper. Get you about that much in there. Get some charcoal lighter. Give you a squirt in there. Get your ladder. Swing her back around here. Show you how easy it is to light this thing up. Okay, there you go. The thing's been running for a minute or so. I'm gonna see. The fan motor went on really good. No problem at all. This thing here, this auger here, a little tight. Okay, there's your, your auger. Hey, this one here's running now. Nice and quiet. That's what I figured. Kinda looks like it's in a bind. We'll see how it's gonna do. Okay, that auger's on the first switch. The stir. And the, and the burning pot is on the second switch. It's really handy to be able to turn them off. Right now I'm just running pellets. This is kind of, this is January though, but we're having unusual warm weather in January, so I just run pellets. Now when the cold front comes through this weekend, then I'm gonna switch over to corn. Last night it was making so much noise, it was like metal on metal. It was bad. my two old motors both of them still work so I'm going to keep them for parts may just oil the bearings on them and same in case we need them all right that's going to do this video thanks for watching